Welcome to today's video. I am the Hooded Lid and today I have a new foundation to share with you. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. It's not actually new, but it's new to me. It is fairly new. I think it's come out in the last couple of months. And they're saying it's your skincare foundation. And a lot of people say this, but I highly recommend you don't look for your skincare in your foundation. The skincare ingredients in this are uh, panthenol, and tocopherol, which is vitamin B5 and vitamin E. There's also aloe and hyaluronic acid and glycerin. All of those ingredients, save for the glycerin, are past the halfway mark. The glycerin is about number four. This is dimethicone based. Water is the first ingredient, but there's a ton of cones in here and it feels thinly dimethicone -y. So there's, to me, a thick dimethicone feeling and a thin dimethicone feeling. This falls under thin. This is the fifth time I've shot this video for various reasons, largely two reasons. I had Morpheus 8 on Tuesday, today's Sunday, and my I was really swollen under here. I still am. It's going to take a little while, but it's better. And it's been cloudy every single day this week, and I'm really having a hard time getting light that I like when it's cloudy. I hope this looks okay. So let's get into it, you guys. I am moisturized and sunscreen. I have put together, because I had a Morpheus recently, I am doing mineral sunscreen. So I use some of the hydropeptide and some of the My Shell for color and some of the Josie Marin for moisture. I still feel like, even though there's some shine going on here, my skin feels a little bit tight. And the reason I mention this is the first time I tried this on and shot this video was before I did the Morpheus 8 and I felt initially like it was tightening, like it was drying. There it is on the hand. I, you can see that it's a little bit runny and I have color 22N. So this was something I wasn't interested in getting. Angie had done a review and she really liked it and for me Angie has a very different aesthetic than I do. She prefers matte. I like uh, skin-like to glowy. And whenever she says something isn't drying, for me, not every time, but anytime I've bought something where she said it's not drying, I find that it is. The first time I put, I did this video, I didn't have the camera running. <laughs> and I didn't realize it until I had the foundation on and it's really a shame because there was a lot of stuff happening. So initially, the last order I did from Sephora, I just got the sample card. Actually, do I still have it? The sample card like this and the light and the medium, I thought I'll mix those together. But they were hard to open. It's the bubble at the bottom and then the foil on the top and I opened the medium easily. I thought, you know what, this is pretty good for me. I'm going to put this on. And as I'm talking to the camera that isn't rolling, I'm looking in this mirror thinking, I'm getting tan as I'm speaking here. What is going on? As you can see, this applies very quickly. So there was definitely some darking up with this foundation. And it looks like we're going to have some bird talking throughout. It's interesting. I haven't heard the bird in a while. And I thought, okay, well, I need to rip open this light one and just do another mix and put these two together. And I did. Well, hi. Oh, he's coming in. What's up? Now, I'd be a little careful if I were you. Um... And it was still too dark, and I thought, okay, I just have to put the light on by itself. And I just did dot, 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 dot in the center and worked it out. And what was remarkable is two things. One, this oxidizes, it gets darker, so get it a shade lighter than you think you need it. Otherwise, you're going to be a bit darker. I'm just going to do a little bit under my neck because it is still a little bit red. And two, even though the color looked atrocious, just blending all of these colors, I had three layers of this on, and it didn't look that bad. It didn't look cakey. It was kind of remarkable. 
Now they are saying that this is medium coverage and a natural finish and it's for all skin types and there are 40 colors. I don't believe anything is for all skin types. If you have oily skin, what works for you is not going to work for dry skin. So that I find a little bit hard to believe. But the finish is really nice. So I came to this chair a little bit shiny. Not as shiny as I usually am because of the sunscreens I used. But the finish that I'm getting has the teeniest bit of radiance. I don't know if you can see it. But with most of my foundations, my Cogendo or my Reboot, um, almost all my foundations have some bit of shine to them. And I usually have to put a little powder at least at my forehead. And I like to do right here as well. With this one, I don't feel like I have to. I have a radiance without having shine. So the finish on this, I think, will depend largely on what your starting point is. But for me, it fills a hole that I have in my foundations in that it is radiant without being overly shiny. And it has a little bit more coverage than the Reboot, than the Kogendo. It's about the same as the Bite. And also, this shade is actually neutral. I'm not pink, I'm not yellow, I'm not peach, I'm not olive, it is neutral. So this is what it looks like. And I still have a little bit of scabbing and stuff on my face from the Morpheus, but I have to say, you guys, I have done this video every day for several days, and this lied, this lied, this laid very well in those scabby areas. So if you have texture, you might like this. And I think the skin looks so nice. I'm going to move in a little bit so you can see what's going on. And I'm praying that I am blended. I think I am. So I would say this is a solid medium. And you might or might not be able to tell I am darkening up a little bit on camera. It might look a little bright because I am playing with my lights, but here in this mirror, I'm like, it's pretty darn close. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, which is fine. I could always mix it with the Reboot and I would get a little more radiance and it would be a little darker. So let's see how other products work with this. It feels, it feels set. This is the Seychelles from Tarte. And it's pretty dimethicone so I like to <laughs> lay on pretty heavy and then completely take it off on my hand. And I put my bronzer on top of my cheekbones because that's where I get color. And just a little bit on the very lovely jowls. And it's blending beautifully. It's not picking up the foundation. Suddenly I think the color is now looking just right for me. I just needed to toast the edges, as a makeup artist said, whose name I cannot remember. For blush, I am going to go in with this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It is a limited edition, and I don't think it's out anymore, but I really like the color. And this formulation is a little bit emollient. So we're still doing creams to see how it works here. And this is such a subtle color. It smells like vanilla. I want to thank everybody for their vanilla scented products because it makes me want to eat them. And it's fine. Nothing lifted up is great. I am seeing signs of dryness. I have to say I probably didn't do a good combination of sunscreens today 
the hydropeptide is a little drying. The micelles a little drying. I did put some Josie Marin in there, but even though it's based in oil, I often find that oddly oily and a little drying. So that could be why I'm seeing a little bit of signs of dehydration. But those two products, one is a little more dimethicone and one is a little more emollient, worked really, really well. So let's go on to blush. Um, another blush. This is a Natasha Denona. I think it's number 19. I haven't worn this in a long time, but I'm just kind of feeling like, is it me or have I gotten a lot of blushes lately? And yet, yeah. Well, I got the Wayne Goss, but that's just not a daily look. And I got the Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm still, I'm still not sure I like that color. So that pink, I know I can always count on. Now, usually I put on my foundation and then I go straight to my eyes. And that's largely because I want my foundation to have the opportunity to set up before I put blush on. And I will oftentimes, if I'm doing a powder blush, put a little bit of powder, translucent powder, on first so there's no dragging or pulling or skipping. But the truth is, this foundation sets up. Not only is it not shiny, therefore it doesn't require powder, it also sets up, therefore doesn't require powder. I mean, I'm doing some buffing over here, and it's just not pulling. It's going on really, really nice. I feel like I have a little too much on, but when I'm looking in my monitor, it's like, no, not really. Also, my face looks really bright in the monitor. Hmm. I'm going to make a change. I tell you what, you guys, I am definitely going to post this no matter what the light looks like, but I'm still having a hard time getting a nice balance for myself, um, largely because on my computer it looks good, on my monitor it looks a little hot, and it's just so hard to tell until I put it and load it into my computer to see what we have going on here. But this is what we have going on for the skin. I am feeling a little bit of tightening, not going to lie. But I do think that it is related to the uh, sunscreens. I'm going to do my under eyes. I think I'm going to mix these two Giorgio Armani's. One of them is super light and one of them is super not light. And that's pretty much it for this one. I have worn it five times. It does wear very long. FYI, I'm not a person that has a problem with foundation disappearing. It doesn't fall off my face. It doesn't wear away. It's just foundation stays on me. So for me, your mileage may vary. For me, it really stays on. I have worn this, of course, under masks. I've worn this, you know, hiking the little pup, sweating a little bit and coming back. And it's primarily still on. So for me, it's long wearing. It is really decent, medium coverage. It is, it can be drying, so you need to kind of approach it. How are you going to prime? If you're oily, I think you might actually like it. My skin runs pretty normal. I'm not dry and flaky, but I'm not producing as many oils and ceramides and hyaluronic acid that we naturally produce at the same amount that younger skin does. My skin isn't behaving quite like younger skin anymore. So that's uh, my base point. And I really like it. It fills a hole in my foundation wardrobe in that it leaves me radiant, but not too shiny, in that I don't have to powder it before I go on with everything else, and I don't have to powder it because it's too shiny, and it has a little bit more coverage than many of my foundations. Um, and that is about it. I'm just going to put on some lipstick and come back at you. Okay, I just did a little bit of lipstick and a little bit of brows and wanted to give you the look with the hair down because that often changes the light. And there we go. I'm still trying this out because 
of the Morpheus 8 situation. I just want to give it a couple of more tries personally because I am feeling a little bit of drying. So I want to, in the next couple of days, use my regular sunscreens, not these minerals, which I generally I find drying, and give it another try because I am feeling a little bit uncomfortable right now. But the other times I've tried it, I wasn't, so I have a feeling it is about my sunscreen. But I really like it, and I think it's a good color for me. I love the fact that it's truly neutral. The 11, which is in the card, that I was using also is truly a neutral. So if you find your hard to match, I recommend find yourself a neutral and you can add yellow to it or peach to it or something else with your bronzer or this, that, and the other thing. It's easier to start at a neutral place than from a place that's too orange or too yellow or too anything. And I do like that. And, oh, I forgot to say this comes in 40 shades. I think I said that in the beginning, 40 shades which is really impressive because I remember when the CC cream came out in three shades. I think it was in three shades. And that's it, my friends. I hope this was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health.